Hey everybody, General Motor Jeff here, Jeff Hunter from Pro Chevrolet in Sault Ste. Marie. And one of the questions I get asked almost daily from my GMC customers is what exactly is the difference between the GMC Sierra AT4 and the GMC Sierra Elevation Edition? Well, what we're gonna do today is look at the differences between the two 2021 Sierra models. All right, so first and foremost, let me explain this. The AT4, which is the white one here, that is the one that is gonna cost more money. It's gonna come with more standard features and have the ability to get more features in it. The elevation is gonna come in at a little bit better price point. And you can basically, there's a lot you can fluctuate when it comes to elevation in terms of, you know, kind of getting it a little more bare bones, not necessarily bare bones, because it's still a mid-level truck, but a little more stripped down as, a, as opposed to having more features. Now, first and foremost, I don't know if you can tell by this video, but there is a stance difference. What I mean by that is not the length of the truck or the width, but this truck here, the AT4, comes standard with a two inch factory lift. So it will sit two inches higher than what you're gonna get with the elevation edition. So of course that's gonna cost more. The other thing is AT4 means all terrain, right? So that also means that the AT4 is gonna come with the, uh, the X31 off-road package. It's gonna get you underbody skid plates. It's gonna get you ranch or neighbor shocks, higher intensity air clear, and automatically get you the two-speed transfer case, which is the low range. The elevation, however, you can choose to get the, uh, the X31 package or not. For example, this red one doesn't have it on it. So it's going to have your auto track four wheel drive system still. So four high, or so four high, two high auto, but no four low range. It doesn't have the two speed transfer case. Now, standard feature on the elevation, you're going to get the black 20 inch wheels as opposed to 18 or 20 inch wheel options with the ET4. And they actually have their own unique wheel there. The other thing is stand, well, not standard, but one of the main features and options you get on the um, AT4 is the ability to have Duratrack tires. So again, bring this more, a little more off-roady, get a more aggressive off-road tire. Not so on the elevation. The elevation is going to come with more of just a regular all-season type of tire. Okay. Now, past that, the red tow hooks, obviously, as you can see, that's going to differentiate them. Heading to the back. If we're just going to stay with the outside of the trucks right now, okay. Let's stick with the exterior. So, multi-pro tailgate. This elevation does not have the multi-pro tailgate. However, as of 2021, you can get the multi-pro tailgate as an option. Pretty cool. So finally, they brought the multi-pro tailgate below the AT4 Denali SLT trim. Now, underneath the hoods, that's another difference, okay? So first and foremost, there's an engine in the, in the elevation you can get that you can't get in the AT4. Underneath the hood there, you can get the 2.7 liter four-cylinder turbo. Not an option on the AT4. Both have the option of the 5.3, both have the option of the three-liter turbo diesel, what this doesn't have that the ET4 does have though, option-wise, is a 6.2 liter. So you can get a 6.2 liter offering in the, uh, the uh, AT4, pardon me, that you can't get in the elevation. Now, some other things you're gonna find are mainly, mainly in the inside of the truck. There's more features that are available and standard when it comes to the AT4, so that's where we're gonna go next. As a heads up, if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. One more heads up is something I missed in this video. That is, there is a lot more camera options, including a surround vision camera available on the AT4 that you do not have the option for in the Elevation Edition. All right, so look, when looking at the interior of these, you're gonna find one massive difference right off the bat, and that is the AT4 comes standard with leather, and it's kind of like a, got a different leather to it with this Kalahari look in it, as well as the emblazoned logos there. You are going to get cloth seats. Leather, the best of my knowledge, is not an option for 2021 models, so you're only gonna have the ability to have the cloth seats. Also, you have the ability to have the flip-up console, whereas in an AT4, the AT4 only offers the bucket seats with the big center console. Inside the center console as well, by the way, wireless charging. You do not have wireless charging for your phone in the elevation. And a standard feature in this, speaking of wireless, is wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Not a standard feature at all in the elevation edition. Again, this is the in the efforts to keep the elevation at a little bit better price point. You're still gonna get things like remote start, backup camera, the regular Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You still have the ability to plug your, your phone in. So again, this is not a base level truck by any means. It just doesn't have all the same features necessarily that the um, AT4 does. Now, if you head around the driver's side of the AT4, there's a few more things that are gonna come standard and you have options to have. First and foremost, one of the standard options is that right there the memory recall seats, which will recall the seats as well as the exterior mirrors. Speaking of mirrors, another option is the rear view camera mirror. So as you can see, that is an actual HD vision camera or it can switch back to a regular mirror. You do not have that option in the elevation edition. Also, 
if we're gonna be looking at the door. Actually, not the door, if we're gonna be looking in the inside, I should say. There's your four low ranges that I mentioned when we were outside. Heads up display. See that heads up display? Again, not an option in the elevation edition. Also, uh, we have the ability in terms of there's some more safety features that are available on the AT4. Also, uh, not necessarily a safety feature, but I guess you could consider that. We have the ability to have adaptive cruise in this truck, which we don't have in the elevation. And we have, I don't know if you can see that there, that is uh, IntelliBeam, so the head, the automatic headlights, uh, you know, shutting off and on. The other thing is too, of course, both are gonna have heated seats. This being leather though, it does have perforated. I don't know if you can see the little holes there. That means that you get ventilated seats as an option as well. And if we head up top, we have the sunroof here in the um, Elevation Edition, or sorry, in the AT4, but you can actually order a sunroof as an option in the AT, uh, pardon me, in the Elevation. So the AT4, you can see it almost, it's not a standard feature, but it almost comes standard because that's how most dealers will order it, okay? You have the Bose stereo system in this, and again, that is actually an option, so you, do, you can get the Bose stereo system in the Elevation as well. I think that pretty much covers the majority of the differences. Of course, if I'm missing something, let me know. I go through these trucks every day, so I'm, I might be taking something for granted. But again, that is why you're gonna see a higher price tag on the AT4, not only from the standard features, but of course, some of the options you can get as well. The cool thing I like about the Elevation Edition in comparison, of course, is it still gives you the ability to have a great truck with tons of features at a little bit better price. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Any questions, let me know.